Hi YouTube, welcome to another guitar tutorial of mine. Uh, today I want to explain you how I play my Wengerbass um, fingerstyle arrangement. I linked it up here in this video where I played it the whole piece through. And today I want to show you how to play it. Um, it's an arrangement of this famous 90s uh, fun dance music. And on my screen I've got the tabs too. And I want to show you how to play each section uh, very well. So we go just right uh, into it. Uh, we have this first section here. It's the intro. We play like an A major chord. And we have some little um, intros to this. Okay, I play this first section. So we have more possibilities to, or we have a few possibilities to um, play this and put our fingers on the fretboard. So we can do it like this. So we jump around with these two fingers on the G and H string and then put them one string higher. few possibilities to uh, to uh, put the fingers on the fretboard I would recommend you to do it like this um, more efficiently it would be to take the ring finger and the small finger <laughs> but uh, you can do it as you want. So that's the first part. I recommend you to play it like this. Slow. And then we have um, this voicing here and just let it ring and then it gets to the melody. other section so we are now here and I played it till here and we repeat from here so I will start just right here to play it these are voicings with two strings D and E and then empty D and third fret third fret each string so slow again and then we go back to A major then we have to make a little beret here in the second fret because um, we change with this E. You can also play it like which is more um, easier. So uh, I recommend you to not maybe not to do it like this in the tablature that I wrote the five. You can do it like this, um, but then you have to put a little beret because this is an E an E so maybe you can do it easier so there is a little transition where you have to put the barre fret uh, barre chord over the uh, three st uh, three strings sorry my English um, so in the second line we are now here you can Okay, I will play this one more time very slowly. I begin from this part. Maybe you do it like... 
the fourth thread. Now it's this this section. Okay, I will play it this whole section one more time in the correct with the correct fingering. Very slow for you. You can uh, higher the tempo if you are safe with it. but you can also use this D major shape uh, and just move it around on the fretboard so you don't have to use barre. Okay, now I rediscover my own arrangement one more time <laughs> again and discover that I can do fingerings more easier for you. Oh, but that's good for you, I think. Okay, we have this first section now done and then it gets to the hey now, hey now. I've got something to tell you, is the right text now. Okay, we are now here in the music. I start on the fifth fret. And maybe there it's good to use the beret, we will see. let it put this in order. We are now starting here, it's the fifth fret. Just use the small finger and have the barre over here is not that bad because if you don't do barre you have to play it like this. It's also possible. Okay, you can also do possibilities to do it. I think most of you maybe are not familiar with beret, so you can uh, do it with a simple fingering. Okay, one more time from here um, with the fifth fret, even slow. a bit so that I have to find it at a piece. Um, so you can just replace this five here. You can't replace this but this fifth thread you can also play on the empty E string. So that's what's going through the whole piece because um, what you play here is also an E and you can use it just as an empty string. So that's up to you if you want to do it. The other possibility is to play it with barre. Sorry, it's with barre. So you don't have to jump around. Wrong bass note, sorry. If you want to use the barre or not, you have two possibilities. You have to yeah. You have to decide if you, which one you choose. Okay, that's this section. And after we played it a second time, we just jump from this part, just right from here. We jump to there if we play it the second time. So we come out on the. E major chord and then we start to play the chorus. It's E, 
again, we are there, where the cursor is, and then... It's always the five in here, but you can also play empty strings, so you have two possibilities. That's the easier one, maybe, or... It's uh, this shape, what you have to use, and then the bass, bass note is changing. around um, okay let's play this section from bar 20 here just to uh, play it comfortably more comfortably okay so this final version is and then the second ending is just as E major and then we have to play um, even Barone. Just like this shape, but as a barrier chord in the 
fifth fret over all six strings and it sounds like this from bar 25. So that's just uh, very um, good for the left hand to have more power there. With the barre, I just play it very slow from bar 25. song um, yes the Wenger bus is coming so I play bar 25 I played uh, we are reaching there that's the part back to this It's not that easy to play it in this fifth position, but uh, with a little bit of practice, you all will get it. So maybe you have to zoom uh, on this way how to play it. Um. Um, here because we then have to change to E. just the end. Um, okay, it's a little bit difficult to get it all through, through these um, parts, but if you have the temperature and my video here, maybe you can use it. Um, I just played it, didn't play it for a long time, so I hope you can um, have nevertheless fun with this tutorial and yeah, just leave a comment if you liked it and if you have any questions, just Put it in the comments below and we will see it in the next tutorial. Bye bye.